Kelly Cup Finals certainly bring out the biggest, brightest, and most special personnel, and this certainly no exception here for Stockton Arena. Mike Benton here with you, and we're joined now by ECHL Commissioner Emeritus Patrick J. Kelly. In this quite a special series, the first time that we have seen a California team up against a Pennsylvania team, really how does that indicate how much this league has essentially grown? Well, it, Mike, it does. Uh, it's nice to see two teams that have never been to the finals. Uh, you always want everybody to get a chance at it, and both teams have a chance. It's still everybody's still alive, so so we see who wins that fourth game. So, going way back, you had a vision. It was documented in numerous stories about how much this league can grow as far as players moving up, personnel, and coaching, in broadcasting, in front office. What have you seen? What have you most admired out of that growth? Well, just a tremendous amount of people that have left the ECHL to work in the American League and the National Hockey League. And that was my goal when, I, when Mr. Brabham hired me. I wanted to try to form a league that would not just produce hockey players, everything included with the hockey players. And I think, I think we're up to 512 hockey players who have played in the National League. We have coaches in the National League, officials in the National League, trainers, marketing guys, radio guys. So I think, you know, I feel, I feel very proud of being a little part of their lives. Maybe I've helped them on their way like I got helped during my career as a player and a manager and a coach. Now we have seen certainly a lot of growth, uh, not just in this league, but also in the game as well with the speed, with how players train, with how coaches approach the game as compared to roughly 20 years ago. What's been the biggest change for you? Well, I, I watched the young players work out before the game, before they get dressed to play tonight. If we did that in my days, we'd probably be so tired when we had to play the game. But, uh, they go through, you know, what they kick a, a soccer ball up and down, play a game with that, and they're in there doing exercise, ride the, the bikes. And the, and the size of the players today, Mike, is just, in my day, if you had a guy in your team that was six foot tall, he was a giant. Today, if you got a guy six, seven, six, eight, 200, I, I remember there was a kid that played in Charlotte a couple of years ago, six, nine, 272. I played at 5'9", 171. <laughs> and you, how do, what I, he's a forward, I'm a defenseman. How do I check that guy? You know, he'd be flicking me off like a fly. So, you know. But, uh, and the equipment so much better. The, everything has improved in all sports, not just the hockey, but the players have gotten bigger in every sport. It is certainly a stark contrast as, as compared to back when you coached the Colorado Rockies in the NHL yeah. in the late 70s. Uh, what do you most take away from that experience? Oh, just, just the thrill. I, I always told my dad I'd want to be a National Hockey League player. I never ever got, I signed a contract but never played in the National Hockey League. But to coach the Rockies, I thought, man, this is it. That's the be biggest thrill of my life. But when they named the cup after me in 96, that far out did the coaching in the National Hockey League as far as I felt that not many, a lot of guys coach and play in the National Hockey League, but not many guys get a trophy named after them. Heading into game four of this Kelly Cup final series, the Thunder trails the Reading Royals three games to nothing. Should history and a comeback become reality, where would that rank as far as ECHL lore? Uh, I don't know that we've ever had a team down three games to nothing in, in the Kelly Cup final to come back and win it. We might have, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, like Maddie Thomas' uh, remark in the paper this morning, every person in that room tonight must be accountable for it. If you don't buy into it tonight, then the whole team could hurt. But I think, you know, it's happened. I know I was up three games to nothing one year. Back in my day, I played and coach. You could do both then. And we were up three games to nothing. Next thing we woke up one morning with 3-3 going into the seventh game in our building and we happened to win in overtime. So it can it can happen. You get a little lax, the players think they're going to win and then maybe the other team's going to say, ah, we, we got two at home still. You, know, you never know. Uh, anything, look at Philadelphia last year. They knocked the Bruins off after being down. And, and I guess it just happened this week in uh, uh, Wilkes-Barre uh, in uh, Providence. We're up three games of nothing come back and beat them four games to three. So it's been done, so anything can happen. Mr. Kelly, well spoken, thank you. Always a pleasure, thank you. ECHL Commissioner Emeritus Patrick J. Kelly joining us here from Stockton Arena for Game 4 of the Kelly Cup Finals.